hello guys so today we want to look at uh, <coughs> the linear first order differential equation so a linear first order differential equation has this form x prime plus p x y which is equals to q x so the coefficient of y there is a function of x and then this right hand side is also a function of x so to solve such functions we use what we call an integrating factor which can be obtained using this equation we say integrating factor in terms of x will be equal to exponent of the integral of p of x dx where p of x is the coefficient of y then then we multiply the ODE by the integrating factor to obtain this equation. So if we multiply this equation by the integrating factor, we'll obtain this. And this leads to an exact form, which can be written as uh, dy ix dx, which is equal to the integrating factor times q of x so let's look at an example so solve y prime minus 3 y is equals to 6 for us to solve this we use apply integrating factor so therefore you can see that p of x is equals to minus 3 and q of x is equals to to 6 so the integrating factor there will be e exponent of integral of minus 3 dx which is equals to exponent of minus 3x if you integrate minus 3 with respect to x you will get minus 3x then we multiply this problem or our equation by the integrating factor we should get this this equation right so from there we then apply this law or this equation so this implies that what you have on the right side is equals to y times the integrating factor dx which is equals to the integrating factor and qx which is equals to 6 then this leads to integration of what you have on the right side so if you integrate this with respect to x you will get this guy what you have there then if you integrate this with respect to x you will get first for us to integrate this would we'll differentiate this we get minus 3 and then that minus 3 will come as a reciprocal there so this will give us minus 3 as a reciprocal so this will be 6 over 3 so when when you differentiate this this minus 3 comes as a denominator so that and then this expression comes as it is and then this is what we get plus the constant of integration which is k right so in this case why did we get y e to the minus 3x because we distributed we distributed dx there so this dx and this dx will cancel out there right so simplifying there you get minus 2 there and then making y the subject of the formula you can see this one if it comes this side it will divide minus e to the minus 3 divided e to the minus 3 you get a minus 2 there and then if it divides this other side you will get k to the power e k divided by e minus 3x which in turn can be written as k is k e to the power positive 3x applying laws of indices then can pause the video and try this one attempt this one pause the video and attempt that one right um, let's move on to the linear differential equation and 
theory of solutions. So an nth order di linear differential equation has this form. As you can see, it's a function of x, which can be denoted as b n x y to, to the power y nth derivative plus b n minus 1 function of x to the power nth minus 1 derivative plus and so on up to b2 y prime prime plus b1 y prime plus b naught this will give you y this is equals to g of x where x and the coefficients of b, j, x given by 0 up to n depends solely on the variable x. In other words, they do not depend on y or any derivative of y. So if, if g of x is equal to 0, the ODE is said to be homogeneous. If it is not equal to 0, if g of x is not equal to 0, then the homogeneous is say, the equation is said to be non-homogeneous. This is very important. This is very important in determining the nature of the solution. We call this the Ronskian. The Ronskian of a set of, a fun of functions y1, y2, up to yn, on an interval a to b having the property that each function possesses n minus 1 derivatives on this interval is the determinant so the Ronskian is the determinant of 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 the derivative so if this is the first solution you derive find the first derivative second derivative at, up to the nth minus 1 derivative because these are functions of n minus 1 derivative. Same, the second solution differentiate up to the nth minus 1 derivative. Then the last, the last solution, sec, first derivative, second up to the nth minus 1 derivative. So if the Ronskian is identically 0 on this interval, and if each of the function is a solution to the same linear differential equation then the set of solution is linearly dependent so if the Ronskian is not equals to zero then the function the so set of solution is said to be linearly independent so if the Ronskian is equals to zero the solution set is said to be linearly dependent so let's look at an example right so find the Ronskian of this set so find the Ronskian of this set as you can see you have got two elements there so how many derivatives should you compute you should compute n minus 1 derivative which is n minus 1 our n is 2